Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to manipulate our HTML properties panel in Dreamweaver. So let's open up Dreamweaver and we have it open here and let's create a new HTML document. Now I'm in designer view, we worked over our workspace views in the last tutorial and I'm in split. So the first thing you're going to see down here in our properties panel is HTML. This is what we are going to manipulate in this tutorial. And the text we're going to manipulate is let's get some hello world text. So let's click in design view on the right side and let's type in hello world. Now the first thing you can do is you can change the format of this text to any kind of heading that you want. Let me show you what I mean. Let's highlight hello world. And here you'll see format, so let's click format. Right now there's none. Let's change it to a heading to format. And immediately it becomes a heading to, as if it was like some kind of outline. So and you'll see, not only did it get bigger in design view, it changed the tags in split in code view for us. It immediately put the H2H2 tags. So if we go back here and change it to none, the H2H2 tags are gone and it's back to where it was before. Now let's not worry about ID or class. We'll learn those in other tutorials, but let's worry about this bold italicize and all this different stuff that you can manipulate your text with. Click bold, immediately becomes bold. Click italicize, immediately becomes italicized. You can put some bullets, numbered bullets, increase the indent, decrease the indent. Let's take that italicize off. Okay, so the last thing we're going to learn that we can manipulate in our HTML properties is the link. You can make internal and external links right here without any coding necessary. Internal links are within your site external links are out of your site. So say that you had an about.html page. Hey look, I have one right there. If you wanted to link to that about.html page, in the link panel you would just type in about.html and click enter. And now when you click this, it will go to about.html. Now say if you wanted to do an external link and link to something outside of the website, you would need the full domain name. You need everything. So let's say we wanted to link to Google. We would just type in HTTP colon backslash backslash www.google.com and now it will link to Google and it automatically inserted everything for us right over here. So we don't even need to see this, but it's good to see it just to make sure everything is working perfectly. So today, so today we learn how to manipulate our HTML properties panel. And in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how what all these page properties will do because there are a lot of them. So this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was useful.